for the bearing, R sub N equals 2.4 DTFU. We will no longer use the tear out because it will not govern. So RN equals 2.4 D. The thickness of the upper plate is 12.7. And then FU is 400. So therefore, R sub N equals 268.224 Newton. Okay? So, comparing the capacity of the bolt in shear and bearing, so the governing limit state for bolts, for the bolts, is the bolt shear. So, therefore, we will use this as the capacity of one bolt. So, for the upper plate, we will now compare the demand and the capacity. So, take note, in order to ensure that we have a safe design, the demand should be less than the capacity. So for the upper plate, the demand is P over 2. And then the capacity is, we will use now this R sub N. We divide this by 1000 in order to be kilonewton. So 178.282.2415 kilonewton. So take note, this is the capacity of one bolt. So we will multiply this by the number of bolts. So take note that we should use either the resistance factor or the factor of safety. Since it is indicated in the problem that we should use ASD, this nominal strength should be divided by the factor of safety for the bolts, and that is 2. Therefore, we can now solve for N. So we have N should be greater than 5.04817525. We cannot have 5.05 volts, so we will now round this up to 6. So therefore, we will use 6 volts, considering the upper plate. We will not yet consider that as an answer because we still need to analyze the middle plate. So we solve for the nominal strength considering the bolt shear considering the middle plate the bolts are subjected to double shear so therefore r sub n is simply equal to 469 times 2 pi over 4 times 22 squared therefore the nominal strength is 356,564.483 newton and then for bearing we have R sub N equals 2.4 DTFU. So we have 2.4, The thickness of the middle plate is 19.05. So therefore, R sub N equals 402,336 Newton. So comparing the capacities, so the governing Limit state is the bolt shear. So we will now use this as the capacity of the bolt. So we will now compare the demand in the middle plate versus the capacity of the bolts considering the middle plate. The demand is P, and then we're going to compare it with 356. We divide this by 1000 so that the units will be kilonewton. And then, do not forget to divide this by the factor of safety, which is 2. We multiply this by N to determine the required number of bolts. So, we substitute 900 for P. So, we have 900. So, N should be greater than 5.048. So, therefore... We are now sure that the answer is 6 because upon analyzing the upper plate and the middle plate, we obtain the same answer. And that is letter B. Problem 4. How many bolts are required to resist the load P equals 1,400 kN? So we will just repeat the process. The nominal strength of the bolt will not change. So considering the upper plate, and the middle plate, we obtain the same answer. So we can choose to do this once only. So we change the value of 900 to 1,400. So we have 1,400 over 2 
equals 178.2822415 and over 2. So n should be greater than 7.8571064. So as you can see, based on the choices, the nearest value that is greater than 7.85 is 9. By just looking at the figure, so we have a clue that the number of bolts might be divisible by 3. So instead of 8, our answer will be 9. Okay? So this answer is based on the analysis of upper plate. So if we choose to do, or if we choose to solve it again using the middle plate, we will just replace 900 by 1, 4. As you can see, we will still obtain the same value, which is 7.85. We are now sure that the answer is 9 volts.